joined now by Quebec's Minister of Energy and Natural Resources here on the sidelines of the Minds and Money Conference in New York. Minister Arcan, you're also responsible for the Plan Nord and the Côte Nord region, so welcome to the show. Thank you, it's Excited a pleasure. Excited to talk to you about Plan Nord because, you know, I was, I was covering it when it was first announced and there was so much buzz and energy surrounding the project. Then we had the change in government, they was pushed back in energy a bit. Where are we today and how can we get that energy back? Well, first of all, uh, the investments are back a lot, I would say. There's a lot of opportunity. And what is fascinating with Plan Nord now is that uh, you have an area that is about twice the size of Texas when you think about it. Absolutely. And yeah. it's a huge area in which a government now has a chance not only to uh, make uh, a lot of development in terms of infrastructures, but also work on the environment work on social progress, uh, improve the lives of communities. This is what it is all about. And for, I would say, uh, the first time in uh, our history, we have a chance to make a development that is the kind of development that we want in this 21st century. So, so tell us a little bit about, you know, for those new uh, or learning about the Plan Nord project, about the potential of the region. Well, we have an area called the Labrador Trough, which is in Quebec and partly in Labrador. This is north of a region called Shefferville, so it's uh, north of the 49th parallel. And this is an area in which you have a huge mineral deposit, a potential for all kinds, not only iron ore, but also vanadium, lithium, rare earth, right. all of this uh, together. And uh, at this present moment, a lot of exploration companies are investing, of course. We have found also diamond mines in the area. A company called Stornoway yes. has just launched a right. new diamond mine. We have also a lot of gold deposits. Uh, and uh, many companies now are investing in the Abitibi regions. So from the James Bay in the west part of the province to the north shore on the east part of the province, there is a lot of activity. So how much work can this create for, for Canadians? Well, when you look at the mining sector in Quebec right now, what we're talking about, direct and indirect job, is about 25,000 jobs. So it's quite significant. And we expect that in the Plan Nord, I would say in the next, in next 20 years, there's going to be a minimum of at least $50 billion in investment. And you mentioned all the different minerals, and Quebec just came out ranked number six in the world by the Fraser Institute, which looks at mining jurisdictions in the world. So six, uh, great ranking here. Uh, but it's not just because of the gold and silver deposits, correct? Yeah, I think it has to do with the fact that uh, we now have uh, pro-business policies. We try to simplify things for companies. We try also to uh, work with them. We have created a corporation, uh, a Quebec government corporation called Société du Plan Nord, which will help facilitate uh, things for the companies who want to invest. So for example, when they need their environmental permit, when they uh, need to talk to the banking arm of the government, Investment Quebec, when they need to uh, discuss with the mayors or right. the municipal affairs. I mean, the, the company is there to facilitate, I would say, uh, the involvement of promoters. Now, Yukon is another very uh, popular and hot spot that's growing right now in, in Canada for mining. How does Quebec compare and what do you feel the advantages are? Well, the advantages are, first of all, uh, people are very confident to invest in Quebec for many reasons. Because we have, I think, good policies. We have a balanced budget as a government, so I think it's, uh, it's very important. Quebec is perceived now as a jurisdiction which has been able in the last few years to balance the budget. So we have more revenues, of course, than we used to have. We did not increase taxes, it's just private investment that has been very helpful, and we have been able to control our expenses as a government. Uh, Minister Arcan, thank you so much for stopping by. It was, uh, it was a pleasure. And uh, thank you for watching our coverage. We'll have more for you from the Minds and Money Conference here in New York. Thank you, Minister.